Good evening, Mayor, Council Members. My name is Gazelle Perry O'Neill, and I live at 760 Kingfisher Court. I've lived in Corona for 26 years, and up until last week, I was a city employee for 25 years. And I'm going to read this. On Thursday of last week, along with four others, I was told there was a reorganization of the department and our positions were being eliminated effective immediately. At that point, I'm just in shock. Wow, after 25 years, this is how my career will end. We were handed official layoff letters and were told that empty boxes were set aside and available for us to pack up our belongings. This is part of the letter that we received from our city manager. This is an official notice informing you that your job with the city of Corona is being eliminated and as such, you are being laid off from your position of principal accountant. This layoff is being conducted according to the terms set forth in the Corona Supervisors Association Memorandum of Understanding and the CSA president has reviewed both the appropriateness of the city's decision to include you in this action and your bumping rights. Unfortunately, you do not have the right to bump to another position in the city. In closing, I want to express my appreciation for your work performance on behalf of the city and wish you well in future endeavors. This letter is very matter of fact and boiler point, boilerplate, excuse me, very cold and heartless. In a matter of five to 10 minutes, I became a non factor to the city of Corona. I realize that leaders have to make very difficult decisions. As, as a supervisor for 14 years, personnel issues are always the most challenging. I also understand that workforce reductions are necessary in certain situations. I am not here to question that decision, but I certainly do hope that it wasn't done with malicious intent for my questioning the validity of certain transactions coming through for payment and I get accused of being the grass police by my department head? Or was it me being too vocal about the lack of management support when a certain department continuously year after year after year makes it difficult for finance staff to complete our work in a timely manner because it's never addressed? Or was it also me being too vocal about the disparity of pay level for finance staff compared to other departments whose staff were getting promoted with raises and new titles. I questioned when finance staff would see such a change. Well, I got my answer. Again, the decision has been made. My main concern is how the decision is planned, organized, and delivered with respect to the employee in a non-disciplinary non situation. No one in good standing with the city should ever be dismissed in this way handing us a box to pack up and immediately vacate the premises, but letting us know that because you don't care enough to give us proper notice, you will send us a check for 160 hours when our annual leaves runs out. I'm sorry, but I find that a cowardly and appalling act. I was hired in 1990 as a clerk in the then Water Utilities Department. I started at the Civic Center, worked at both wastewater treatment plants, learning about some fascinating processes along the way, and then transferring back to the Civic Center. After nine years, I got a position in the finance department as an accountant responsible for debt management. Two years later, I was promoted to a supervisory position as principal accountant. Over the years, I have been in charge of monitoring all city debt, being part of the financing team issuing new and refunding several CFDs, revenue bonds, and redevelopment bonds, making sure all payments were properly made and all annual reports were submitted on time for 30 plus bond issues. During the economic downturn, though there were extremely high delinquencies, none of the districts were ever near defaulting because decisions had been made in advance to levy appropriate amounts to create coverage for unexpected occurrences. My staff and I also worked diligently with over 100 property owners to receive only their district portion 
of the property tax bill here at the city to prevent foreclosure proceedings. We gave presentations to large groups of realtors at their meetings to educate them about Melarus districts. We put general district information on the city's website to curtail many calls from investors and property owners. We received many compliments for them for doing so. We updated written procedures and structured deadlines for the accounts payable process so that vendor payments could be processed timely each week. There have been numerous accomplishments during my 25 years that have been documented in all of my annual reviews. I am not mentioning these things to get a pat on my back. I am not saying that I was a perfect employee, but I know that I did an awesome job and made a difference in this city because it's visible and can be measured. But to be thrown out like the morning bathwater is disturbing and inhumane. I feel robbed. I did not get the opportunity to receive my 25-year pen and be recognized for my service with a retirement plaque. I didn't get to say goodbye over cake and punch with coworkers and consultants who I've developed lasting relationships with over the years. I did not get to retire with any respect or dignity that I so deserved. These things may not matter to some, but truthfully, they do to me. I am very grateful to have worked in the city where I live. My husband and I have two sons who have attended and graduated from local schools. I have a very strong belief that every day has its own purpose, an opportunity for us to gain wisdom, elevate our spirit, and always be of service to others. This door may have closed unexpectedly for me, but I know where my blessings come from. But, and I am absolutely confident that I will be successful moving forward. I ask you to reconsider your past practices when and if you ever have to make such decisions in the future. Treat each employee with the individual respect they deserve. It should never be only what you can do legally. Have a heart for the staff who work in the trenches every day to make you look good. Do what's right. I pray that the city continues to make positive strides in all areas because it is a great city. I thank you for your time and God bless you all. Thank you and thank you for your service. Okay, that is our last speaker card. We are now legislative.